dumb first world problems, dude. My microphone's too good. I got a dwarf weed seed. Hot. Dude, it is hot. Uh, so you're killing abyssal demons. I'm murdering trolls. We're just taking out RuneScape's population one creature at a time. Boys and girls, welcome to episode... Oh, hold on. I think it's episode five? Episode five of the grind, maybe? I think? Uh, okay. Uh, how are you guys doing? Thanks for joining me and my best friend in the whole entire universe, Necro. How you doing, buddy? Hey, buddy. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's still cute, uh, if you were wondering, just in case. He is taken, though, lady. Sorry. Yeah, it's true. Sorry. Mary. Um, the my wife bit, that's a real thing. <laughs> a my wife. My wife. So, we're, uh, we're just doing some casual slayer, uh, him just because he's a slayer beast, and I'm just doing it because I need to. I need the slayer points for my beautiful little twisted... Horn helm, which, by the way, I might add, the price of those horns just continues to rise, dude. <laughs> it is absolutely insane. The price of the uh, twisted, like, outfit that I bought uh -huh. just keeps going up. Yeah, like, <laughs> my bank value continues to increase just because of those freaking horns I have. <laughs> so, I'm uh, I'm not complaining to you. One day, I'll be able to, you know, once I get, uh, I, have tw I have 200 Slayer points right now. Once I get uh, 1,200 more, <laughs> I'll be in business. Yeah. So I'm killing mountain trolls, you're killing abyssal demons. I know I've said it like five times now, but I'm trying to get to the point here of... There's uh, some different things, if you notice. I don't know if you can tell, but they, uh, Jagex just... They were they just did this, I think it was Monday? They uh, changed some of the hit splats around. They've been talking about doing it for years now. They're gonna do more, but apparently they've changed it to where when you're hit... I think you can back me up on this. I think when you're hit, they, it like is darker now, maybe? I don't really know. It's kind you're of a... <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So anything that has to do with not like another player, <coughs> right? Uh, it's darker. It's a darker color. So like, if you're like slaying right now and it's play a troll right next to you, their hits would show darker red and their misses would be darker blue. To sort of dif differentiate who's being attacked, essentially, I think. Yes, exactly. It see, I think they're gonna do more later. They've talked about doing stuff with like poison and venom making the different hues of green but i don't know it's uh doesn't really make a difference to me i guess it's cool oh i'm getting stacked by these trolls though but <clears throat> i'm probably gonna die on freaking stream and i'm gonna laugh but well i won't laugh i'll actually probably cry dude i've been thinking about that i think if i ever or not if whenever i do die <laughs> i'm probably gonna cry on camera and it's gonna be beautiful it will be beautiful i'll, that... I'll be happy <laughs> these trolls aren't they supposed to lose aggro after a while I'm getting I mean, stacked here, dude. Yeah, they are supposed to lose aggro after a while. <laughs> I thought so, but they're freaking pissed for some reason. Well, so, quit murdering their population. Dog. I know, man, but I got it. I'm You're really right. hoping... Uh, I, I don't know if I've put this in an episode yet, but I'm finally doing Konar Slayer, which I think... I mean, are you supposed to do the Slayer Master that's your level right away? Because I feel like sometimes they give you things you can't handle if you do. I, I mean, know. I did... But I will tell you that sometimes it didn't feel intelligent. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should go back to, uh, who would be? Childer? Ch Ch Childer? They will. Childar? Ch Childer. <laughs> <laughs> they will give you stuff that is challenging, but sometimes, you know, that is... It's the way, it's the way of the game. <clears throat> yeah, sometimes... Really what I don't get about Slayer is, like what to block and what to cancel like i know obviously you want to cancel ta or like you know block tasks that are garbage but i don't know like I, I i normally skip most of like dragon tasks does that sound about right like iron dragons and steel dragons um yeah i skip mostly all my dragon tasks if it's not a wyvern oh yeah it. skeletal wyverns those are good yeah if it's not a wyvern i'm probably not doing it because they just take so long to kill <laughs> yeah now I will say I mean, they're do too, but it's worth it. Yeah, for the, they're the only thing that dropped the 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 draconic visage, right? Uh, yes. I don't actually know. Maybe other dragons do, but I know they do. And well, I mean, other dragons do, but they also drop it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm such an uh, a slayer novice. We were talking about this earlier before we started recording, but uh, there's so many bosses and stuff, and so many, just so much content in general that's locked behind uh behind slayer. <laughs> 
It's true. There's a ton. <clears throat> you gotta get good, man. Yeah, you gotta get good enough to kill that night. Have you tried the new Nightmare Boss yet? No, dude, I haven't. I've been still on that WoW grind. Oh, yeah, you're playing World of Warcraft. When's that new expansion drop? You re are you excited for that? I'm very excited, but it drops forever from now. I also love how every episode so far, I think we've talked about World of Warcraft because <laughs> you've been on it so uh, much. It's because World of Warcraft is fantastic. <laughs> it's World of Warcraft better than RuneScape on a RuneScape podcast? I mean, I won't say that. They all have a special place in my heart. Right. Like World of Warcraft because it's what me and my wife play. Um, RuneScape because it's what I played when I was a child. It's what you so and like, your best friend played. Also that. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not jealous or anything. It's fine. <laughs> so Dude. you're killing those trolls like the coronavirus is wiping out our population. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess so. Way to bring it back to topicalness. Yeah, you're welcome. Dude, everything's uh, being canceled. Dude, it's still it's still being canceled. And TwitchCon is kind of the one that makes me sad. Yeah, dude, that cuz that was supposed to be happening soon, wasn't it? It's in the UK too, I think they're supposed to be having it. Last I looked, the ticket prices were in like euros. Euros. So. That's that's pretty uh like I'm I'm like kudos for being cautious. Uh I guess, you know, but it still sucks. <laughs> That's significant. Like, TwitchCon not happening. I mean, a lot of content creators depend on TwitchCon. I don't even know. What, what is TwitchCon? I, I, is it just like a meetup for streamers and stuff? Yeah, kind of. I mean, that's basically what it is. It's a meetup for streamers and fans to go and show up and meet and greet and stuff like that. It's it's really cool for, like, smaller community streamers who have the meet to go. Yeah. Because then you get to meet people from across the world that, you know, you may have had a moderator in your chat who you've never met and then you get to go meet them and it's just a really cool all-around experience for everybody have you ever been to one uh i haven't i want to i wanted to go to this one but then i found that it was in the uk and i was like i'm not okay <laughs> yeah yeah for real um what i mean then uh south by southwest just got canceled too i mean that's 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 rough for a lot of indie developers and stuff like that i know that was a big hit because they depend on that just like you said for like the smaller Twitch streamers just to get, you know, recognition. Yeah, just so someone can be like, yo, that's good. It sucks, man, because, uh, I mean, <laughs> I want to say this thing isn't that big a deal, but everyone is really making it seem like it's a big deal. Dude, I'm telling you. I understand. I mean, I mean, I'm glad everyone's being, you know, cautious or whatever, but uh, I don't know if you follow um, Rooster Teeth or Achievement Hunter, but they canceled some of their live shows, too. Uh Arnold Arnold Schwarzenegger canceled his uh his fitness expo. Uh, I mean, just everything, man. It sucks. Get out of the expo. Get, Get out, out before you die. Get out before you die now. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I feel like nobody can but do no. his accent justice. No one, no one can. And the people who can are national treasures. It well, it's because be he doesn't really stuff. sound like that. I mean, it, it's always been like over exaggerated in some way. Kind of like um. Uh, Who's the who's the other guy that uh what's the freaking guy from uh I can't think of his name now. It's gonna drive me crazy. But uh the the more cowbell guy, who is that? What's his name? Oh dude, I don't know. More I need more cowbell. If, oh, what is his freaking name, dude? Hold on. But uh yeah, dude, it's <laughs> it's crazy. Um freaking... yeah, I think it, it's it's kind of insane. It's getting to the point now to where like like I mentioned last week, Christopher sure. Walken. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone over exaggerates his accent too. You do it again. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm um... gonna stab you in the face with the solder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know, man. I, next thing we know, they're gonna freaking start canceling. Like, what if we can't go to like you know outside? <laughs> What if we can't? Yeah. What if we can't go to work? Yeah. If, you know, like that's a serious. I, I work in schools, and I mean, I feel like that could be a, a serious possibility soon. <laughs> it, it, it is. It really is. And the biggest problem with that is, I mean, look at Japan. They've already canceled school. Like schools are not in session. In really? Japan. I didn't know that. Yeah, they they're not being held. The the Japanese government decided to shut down schools until further notice. That's crazy, dude. I, it's it's and people are like, I mean. Within reason, of course, but people are like, they're, uh, like, I seen a, I seen a thing on Twitter where, like, someone bought, like, <laughs> like, they're stocking up for, like, the apocalypse, essentially. 
dude, it's serious. Like, people <sighs> are legit scared. And now I will say some people are blowing it out of proportion. Like, guys, here's the deal. If you get sick, let's be honest. This is killing, like... This is going to sound terrible, but me and my wife were talking about it the other day, and we were shopping in Walmart, and, you know, we were walking around, and, I mean, me and my wife are pretty fairly antisocial people. I mean, we're gamers. We play World of Warcraft, people. Come on. Right. Um, But we're walking around, and it's, like, crowded, and we can barely move, and my wife just turns to me and says, you know, the coronavirus is real scary and all, but maybe this population could use a little culling. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Like, wow yeah well dude but yeah <laughs> the, there's the a point really here is like people are taking this a step too far um we did just get a couple of confirmed cases where or one one confirmed case here where we're from yeah so I it, mean, it's it, spreading. It, it is scary it is a little bit different when it cl hits closer to home i almost said when it clits closer to home uh yeah, well, yeah. When, it, when it when it's that close like it kind of is a little uh Kind of not eye opening, but you know, kind of makes you think. Okay, well, maybe I should start taking this a little bit more seriously. Yeah, it gets scary. And I, I'm not trying to like. Obviously, it's an epidemic, and I'm not trying to like minimize that. But I think I, I said this last time, and I don't want to spend a whole other episode talking about this because it's you know whatever. But I do think I, I think most of it is just me thinking. Okay, I'm trying to make it seem like it's not such a big deal, so I don't panic. You know. Yeah, and. A lot of people are like that. They're like, if I pretend it's not going to hit me, it won't hit me. I mean, and that's a that's a real mentality to have. Because I, I feel like we've gone through this before, you know, like with, but we, again, we've talked about this all before in the last time, but who knows? We'll see. You know what? If I, if I die, dude, whatever. I'm ready for it, you know? <laughs> if I die, I die. What? Well, honestly, like, I just, whatever, man. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Hardcore Iron Man real life status, except you ain't coming back. Yeah, I'm in touch with my, uh, you know, uh, my inner soul. So whatever is gonna happen, bro, I'm, uh, I'm ready to go to that big. <laughs> I'm ready to go to that big MMORPG in the sky. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, man. Whatever. Take me to where the the grass is green and the XP never stop. Yeah, take me to where I already spawned in with one bill. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Speaking of, let's 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 hop back onto the uh, less depressing topics. Let's go back to the uh, the old RuneScape here. They, uh, so I was talking about, we were talking about the uh, the nightmare boss, I yeah. remember, the nightmare about Shishima or whatever. They had a new. It's it's kind of strange, and a lot of people are saying it's already dead content. But apparently, they released kind of like a, a newer version of it, where it, for, just for this week alone, where it's essentially a solo mode where Jagex is kind of testing to see who can kill it the fastest. And whoever does just gets reward with like some membership or whatever. But apparently it's a harder version. You have to do it solo. And uh, I think right now the fastest time is like 15 and some odd minutes. Uh, I'm sure Wooks is cooking up a plan to destroy that. But we will uh, see within due time. I mean, that's cool and all. But why only do it for a week? Like, it, it's strange. If it's, already, if it's already dead content, right? Which, I mean, I don't think I'd call it dead content. I would probably say that it's probably, like, not being played as they intended it. Because it was originally supposed to be a group boss, right? Yes, that, that's what it is, is a group boss, yes. Yeah, but I'm sure people are just soloing it at this point. Because, I mean, that's what RuneScape community does, is they just solo shit. Yeah, RuneScape's so, community is all about breaking the rules. <laughs> yeah, so my thought here is... Probably what's actually happening is people are just doing it solo and then guaranteeing a drop almost and then just kind of playing it. Like, I, I just, I don't think it's dead content. I will say that there's probably going about running it than there was. I, I only say that because a lot of the Twitch streamers I was watching doing it were saying that, so I just went with what they said. I mean, yeah. Which I'm not going to disagree. I mean, I could definitely see why they would say it's dead content. But because, I mean, it's... I, I don't know. It's the fact that they... I think they're trying to do more stuff like the Twisted League, you know, with, like, uh, timed content, I think. And uh, this is maybe just another step towards that. But it's funny because in their uh, 
their patch notes it says worried about competing with all those uber talented streamers worry no more because content creators will have access to a separate competition what does that mean yeah like why why separate why would they get a whole different like section <laughs> that doesn't make any yeah, sense dude I, and is the prize better because like if so then like come on now like just because they're streaming the game doesn't mean they're good <laughs> Yeah, right. I, I stream this game sometimes. I'm not good. Like <laughs> Yeah, yeah, what 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 uh, differentiates a content creator? Is it how popular they are? Why am I not getting access to yeah, this? And at that at that point, like how popular do you have to be to be considered a content creator? Yeah, like, yeah, like... Jagex. <laughs> I'm uh I would love to know, but anyway, that's uh that's the stuff that happened this week. They are pulling right now more stuff for the Mauritania aka Darkmire expansion stuff. They're pulling new quests and stuff right now, which uh, looks pretty cool, actually. It's I don't think it's going to be... Have you done the... Uh, hold on, let me find the name of it. It's the the newest quest in that line. Uh, I think it's like a Taste of Hope or something like that. Have you done that quest yet? Oh, absolutely not. You know better than me. <laughs> well, essentially, I'll give, you the, I'll give you the cliff notes, the super secret cliff notes. Basically, you uh, rise up with the... Uh, vampire hunter killer people i can't remember what they're called they're like freedom fighters essentially you team up with them and you kill like this big uh dracula boss man but it turns out of course it's not the real guy it's his brother so apparently this quest is building on that where the real i can't remember his name oh uh ranish drac dracon dracon He's like the uber, uber Dracula. And uh, yeah, he's like, he's pissed because he's like, oh, you killed my brother. For that, you must die. So this quest, the they're, they're one they're pulling right now, Sins of the Father is the name of it. <laughs> um, it's apparently like uh, preparation for potentially the final. Oh, here we go. Lord Lorani Dracon, the vampire overlord, has finally emerged from his castle. He has but one goal, to avenge his brother and eradicate the Myrak once and for all. So yeah, that uh, it looks cool. I, I hate I hate Mauritania and everything about it, um, but the quest sounds cool. But I still have to do. I haven't done any of them on this account, like Darkness of Hollow Vale uh, and all those. But um, you will need quest requirements. I'll just run down these real quick. You'll need to do a Taste of Hope, which is the new the one I was just telling you about. But here's the real kicker: you also have to com have completed the hardest quest of all time, Vampire Slayer. Oh shit, man! <laughs> look. I can't do that quest. The vampire is too fucking hard. Dude, is you right? You have to have like a steak. Uh, you have to yeah. have 62 wood cutting. Let me know if you don't have any of these. You have to have 62 wood cutting. Uh, I'm fucked. Really? Nah, I got 71. Okay. Uh, 60 fletching. Uh, I'm good. 50. Uh, no, I'm at 45 fletching. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't fletch, dude. Like I got 99 like twice, and I just. <laughs> I don't want to that, dude. Uh, 56 crafting. I'm 52 good. agility. Good. 50 Slayer? Uh, I don't think I got that. <laughs> uh, 49 Magic and 50 Attack. Uh, I don't have that one either. And the rewards, two quest points, access to Darkmire, which is the new place they're pulling for Mauritania, which I think they said it's supposed to be like the capital of Mauritania, which I guess is whatever. Um, improved Ivondis Flail. You don't have the Flail yet because you haven't done a Taste of Hope. But it's that, it's nope. that thing. It looks like a... Like a, a lantern, kind of. Like you're carrying like a big lamp pole, almost. <laughs> it's kind of... I'm curious, what does hope taste like? Uh, Freedom, maybe? What does freedom taste like? I don't know. I, I feel like whenever, whenever I think of hope... What did you say? Disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> whenever I think of hope or freedom, I think of like... Um, patriotism. So I'm imagining like a red, white, and blue popsicle. You know? Like a strawberry I'm blueberry i'm imagining mel gibson like from a scene from patriot and him just running with like two bombshell popsicles in each hand instead of tomahawks <laughs> like those rocket those bomb pops <laughs> like shaped like yeah, rockets dude. fucking america <laughs> dude i love it i love it um so oh and and uh so the first these are this i'm not gonna run down all the poll questions but oh capital of the vampires and hope castle dragon darkmire has stood for centuries as an imposing an impenetrable blight on Mauritania. So there, uh, I might put, when I'm editing this, I might put some of these pictures on here, but some of the concept art for these vampires looks really cool. Um, 
City of Darkmar unlocked by the sins of the Father Quest, split into three tiers. Pickpocketing Vire Lords and Vire Ladies. Oh, dude, this armor looks so cool. Player wearing the Blood Fury Amulet. Wow, it looks sick. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to put that, that picture on here, but, um... So, yeah, there... Oh, the Hollowed Sepulcher? Sepul Sepulcher? Sepulcher. Th Sepulcher. Thank you. Uh, lots of words I don't know. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Basically, they're just, they're just pulling, basically, the quest and, uh, how some of the things are going to look, which, uh, looks pretty dope. It sounds dope. Yeah, man. Speaking... All that cool <laughs> shit that I'll never do. I I'd love to do it eventually. I just have to freaking, you know... Oh, me, me too. I just have to break myself away from World of Warcraft. Yeah, that too. You gotta, uh... You gotta just find time for something you like. I, I'm really happy that I'm, uh, I'm sure once I start doing something really grindy, like, I don't know, pest control or something like that, I will start to hate this again. But as of right now, I'm having a lot of fun because I keep, I'm doing questing and stuff like that right now. And I'm trying to, uh, um, just stay on top of all of that. So I need to do my achievement diaries, actually. Have you done any of those yet? Bro, I've done a few. I haven't done near as many as I should. I, uh, I've talked about this for a while on the <clears throat> on the show. I've run down my plan, but I'm trying to get um, I'm gonna do swan. Have you done? I'm gonna do swan song next, which is the quest that allows you to fish monkfish. And yeah, the, and you know that's actually a quest I haven't done. You haven't done swan song. It's a it's a cool quest actually. You you team up with the wise old man and you like murder trolls and stuff. It's pretty cool. I heard it was cool. I just I don't like fishing. Out of all the skills. Fishing is one of them that I hate the most. Oh, dude, fishing is so... It's so relaxing and AFK, though. I don't know why. I just don't like it. Like, I prefer mining and smithing over... Oh, those are the worst, bro. Everybody hates mining and smithing. I love both of them. Well, maybe at least mining. Mining is so boring. I think it's because it's so, like, slow. Because, like... To, to, like... I mean, it's literally the same thing as woodcutting and fishing all so it's I find it silly that anyone skill that they hate or don't well I, th love. I think it's just depending on like the action like wood cutting and fishing to me is just seems calming and like chill but like mining is so like oh I gotta I don't know it's just I think like you said it's just preference yeah I mean really it's it's realistically it's the same motion it's probably about the close to the same speed yeah I'm sure it's in the end pretty I mean if you want to get real deep, this whole game is literally just you clicking your mouse on <laughs> random different pixels. I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, Man, all of this is meaningless, true. and we're just literally wasting our time. If you think about it also, hard enough. Also true. Also <laughs> true. But, um, I don't know. Uh, we were talking about this before we started recording, though. You know, we everyone always says, like, you know, oh, you play video games all the time. You're wasting your gosh dang life. But I think with like movies and tv shows i almost think that's different but they're killing it with tv shows and and gaming here lately with like the witcher and um what was it the one? castlevania i mean i've heard those i haven't seen any of them but but i've heard they're good but yeah, castlevania's castlevania's a really good series you have seen castlevania i have it it looks good isn't it like animated it's not like live action right yeah it's anime it's real good Oh, I gotta check that out, man. That I, I, I do want to see The Witcher, too. And I also... I kind of want to see the Sonic movie just for S's and gigs, you know? Nah, I'm good. You don't think Although it'd be... Jim Carrey's, it, Jim Carrey's in it. He's I know. Dr. Eggman. I love Jim Carrey. Although he's kind of, like, lost his mind lately. I don't know if you... What I, do you mean, lately? <laughs> well, I guess that's true. Isn't that, like, true with all geniuses, though? Like, all, like not that he's a genius, but, you know, like... Every, like, they're all kind of a little weird in their own way. I mean, yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. Because to, like, to have that level of, like, worth work ethic or, like, you know, whatever, you have to have, like, something in your brain stem. I don't know the whole science behind your brain, but I don't know. Stupid nerd stuff. I don't know what you're talking about either. <laughs> I never do. Anyway, my whole point with that uh, video game in, in um, movie integration talk was the uh, uh, recent announcement of The Last of Us tv show which is super super exciting you've played the last of us haven't you oh yeah i've played it and i loved it it was fantastic i'm uh, i'm excited to see who they cast you know i uh, do you have any like just thinking of joel and ellie right now who do you think would be a good pick for joel i'm thinking seth rogan 
<laughs> like he's just getting high as hell the whole time. <laughs> I just okay. So for for the girl, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I I would I would say you know the girl who played uh, like the little girl from uh, Game of Thrones. I've never seen Game of Thrones. Okay, okay hang on, let me. So I'm useless um, to you there. I've seen Game of Bones, the triple X parody. <laughs> <laughs> I just made that up, but I guarantee you that's real. I want to say it is... What is her name? I want to say it's Maisie Williams. Mm. Yeah, it's Maisie Williams. Ba -da -dum -bum, ba -da -dum. That's Pirates of the Caribbean. How does the freaking Game of Thrones theme song go? Yeah, I got it. I got it eventually. Have you watched all of Game of Thrones? Uh, no. I haven't. I need to. I heard the last season sucks. The last season sucks? Yeah, apparently, like, the last episode's, like, garbage. Like, they wrapped up the show terribly. That's just what I heard. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. It's such a, it's a show that has such, like, I don't think it would ever live up to the hype, right? Yeah, I don't really know. Uh, like I said, I've never seen it, so yeah, I mean, I'm into the I'm into the uh, the genre, but like it's just like a yeah. lot. And I heard they got lots of like boobies, which is dope. <laughs> which is nice. I mean, that's always good. But I've also heard there's lots of man boobs, which is also dope. I guess you know whatever. I mean, yeah, whatever you're into, I guess. Uh, I don't know who I would have play Joel. Like that's Liam Neeson. <laughs> They gotta be like grizzly. Like they've gotta be like hardened and pissed off. We don't want everyone in the movie to die because he will find them. And he will kill. Them. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I don't know any actors. I don't. I just don't watch enough televised events. That's really me. I don't watch a lot of TV. Too busy playing video games. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could combine them, you know, and just. Play. That's that's the nice thing about RuneScape, or maybe even World of Warcraft. I don't know how grindy World of Warcraft is, but uh. <laughs> it just feels like you're. This is so funny to say out loud. It feels like you're getting something done, <laughs> which is literally the opposite. But I, I don't know. If it, it is and it isn't. I mean, I get your point. Like I think you're entirely correct. You know, it I'm not. Feels better to play a game and do something, even if. Like, okay, you're watching a movie or whatever. If you're, like, if I'm doing two things at once, no matter what it is, I feel accomplished. Like, even if it's as simple as, like, doing something while you're, you know, the microwave counts down, I feel, okay, that's what, I just killed that, man. Like, uh, I gotta go brush my teeth before I get my food out of the microwave. That makes no sense, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I get it. But yeah. I, uh, I, I, I kind of feel the same. I... That's that's what make games like, that's what makes games like RuneScape and uh, just pretty much any MMO in general. It just feels good. Yeah, I, we've said this before a bunch of times, and I know a lot of people already feel the same way. But the grind is just like you know you see the you see the numbers go up, you see the numbers get bigger, you see that that or you, you grind like for a drop from a monster. It just you know it hits all the dopamine sensors in your brain and. It's just like, oh, I saw my my attack went from 91 to 92, bro. Let's go, you know. <laughs> just the the rush of adrenaline from, like, because you feel like you've accomplished something, even if, you know, you quite literally haven't. It's very true. But, yeah, as far as Last of Us goes, I don't know who I want to play it. Super excited for it to be a series. I'm afraid that dead it vibes. Do what vibes? I, I, you can't Walking Dead vibes. I'm oh like yeah. Like dead. Hopefully not. Um, the guy that made the games, uh, Neil Druckmann, he he directed the games. He's working with them, so hopefully, it, you know, he'll have his vision. Because I've heard that. Uh, uh, I heard that um, they were gonna base it pretty closely to the actual game. So hopefully it'll. Uh, and and I think they even said they might put some of the second game in there too, if. Uh, like who knows when this is gonna you know release the the, the TV show, but uh, yeah, yeah. If if it's gonna be on HBO, you know it's gonna be good because they can you know just literally put whatever on HBO basically. Exactly, and I'm sure there'll be stuff that wasn't in the game that'll be in there and so on. Exactly, dude. There's gonna be some gory zombie murderification. I bet. 
Although, I, you know, I'm almost tired of zombies, you know, <laughs> at this point in time. Just now? Like, <laughs> like, it's just kind of like, I would almost rather see, you know what we never see anymore is werewolves. Whatever happened to those guys? Uh, I don't know. They're... Twilight? <laughs> Did that ruin it for everybody? <laughs> I think so. They're at the pound, dude. <laughs> they're at the pound. They all got flea collars. Yeah, dude. Like, they're not as ferocious anymore. They calm down. There hasn't been a full moon in ages because of the... Because of global warming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's uh, bringing it back to top I'm, topicalness. I'm a, I'm a blame... I'm a blame Twilight. Twilight ruined vampires and... Because then you had movies like Underworld, right? And they were dope. You right. So, I don't know. I uh, I agree with you. We need something other than zombies, but for Last of Us, I'll make an exception. Yeah, I'll make it. Yeah. I mean, and they're not really even technically zombies, I guess. You know, they, people, they, they've they tried to uh, get away from that word in media now. They call them, you know, infected or, uh, you know, whatever. We know what they are. We don't know don't we know what they're going yeah. for. Yeah, don't you play with me. I like Resident Evil. Resident Evil, I think, calls them, uh, oh, what do they say? I can't remember now. Changed or something like that. I don't freaking know. But, um, Jesus. so one other thing that I wanted to talk about video game wise before we, you know, go back to talking about the death of our planet as we know it. Um, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> they, they just released the Final Fantasy VII remake demo, which I know you were saying you haven't played yet, but have you seen any game play of it? I've seen screenshots. I haven't seen any, like, live gameplay. Um, I really want to play it. I mean, I played Final Fantasy, obviously, growing because, I mean, come on. It's Final Fantasy VII. Um, oh, yeah, I, I know. I, I didn't. I know. <laughs> yeah. I don't, don't, don't speak. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm a fake gamer. <laughs> You're a fake gamer. <laughs> I know, bro. Gamer. <laughs> Uh, do we, it looks cool though. It makes me want to play it. I mean, I'd much rather uh, play that version than the dumb old PS One version. Right, you shut your mouth. Dude, so apparently I didn't know this, but apparently there's like a scene in that game or like a, a section. I don't know if you remember this or not, where you like you where Cloud like cross dresses. Yeah, yeah, that's a thing. Which is crazy for especially back in the day, right? <laughs> I don't. I I think it was pretty easy to get away with. Uh, but that's cool. I mean, like, you have to, like, there was a, I don't know if you, they, they showed, like, a teaser for it in the new version, and, like, he's dressed up in, like, a dress and, like, a pretty bow tie, and it's, it's really, uh, it's real cute. He's a pretty princess. But, yeah, I'm super excited to play, uh, especially since I never played the original. Um, <clears throat> now, all they need to do is remaster, uh, Ocarina of Time, and I can finally play that game for the first time. You haven't played, bro, what about all the times we, for Thanksgiving at Grandma's? Uh, I think I just probably watched you guys play it. I've, I've, I mean, I've, I've, like, seen it, and I mean, I've, you know, whatever, but I've never actually sat down and just actually played through it. I actually haven't played a lot of Zelda. Uh, the only ones I've played is Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and that's it. <laughs> the only one that really matters to me is Ocarina of Time. That's the only one. Did you play Breath of the Wild? No. See, I need See, to play. I'm I not... I don't like Legend of Zelda. Oh, that's right. I forget that. I forget that you hate or you don't like it. I keep forgetting yeah. that. Like, but, it's fun to watch. But it's because you don't like you it. don't like a lot of games, though. I mean, that's true. I'm kind of hypercritical of the whole, like, save the princess from the bad guy thing. Yeah, which, I mean, is fair. That's a story as old as time. Quite literally. Quite literally. Which, bringing it back, people actually said that about The Last of Us. A lot of people said The Last of Us' story was very generic and, uh, you know overdone i don't like people understand what generic means anymore i think they just like to throw that word out and just kind of hope it sticks to something yeah i mean like you know everyone's a, everyone's a critic and whatever everyone everyone can always do everything better and nothing is ever good enough yeah and... exactly like everyone has their own opinion like that's the dip like the biggest difference is i'm not saying my opinion's right or wrong i'm just saying it's just my opinion yeah exactly whereas other people are like yo i'm right <laughs> yo yo <Fuck> yo <laughs> So, I don't know. Uh, let's talk about this Amnesia sequel for a Yo, second. Oh, dude. Uh, freaking, I actually, have, I've played Amnesia a bunch when it, you know, first came out years ago. I think actually quite literally like 10 or so years ago. 
um, back when it launched YouTube gaming as we know it, along with like Minecraft. But um, yep. I never actually finished it, dude. I was always too much of a little baby. Oh, dude, it's such a good game. Like I said, I played that game so much. I got so good at it to the point that I could like count enemy footsteps to make sure I was safe. And it was it was so good. I love that game. It is the pinnacle, still the pinnacle of horror games, in my opinion. It's good, man. It's got like the physics and stuff down, and you hold like a dope lantern, and it's it's uh what I'm trying to think of um did you didn't they have like DLC for it like something about pigs or something like that? They did. They did make DLC for it. So what you're saying is that you're gonna release a amnesia speed run, right? No, absolutely not. <laughs> uh, GDC Necro Circus confirmed. Not happening. You heard it here first. Well, if it doesn't get canceled, do what if they cancel? Is uh, Summer Day Summer Games has that gone on yet? No, it hasn't, and I don't think it is canceled as of yet. But oh, I, I hope they... I hope we didn't just jinx it. I I did too, because as you're fully aware, I spend all watching like that never turns off of my computer. Oh you. yeah, dude, that's a. Even when I'm not home, I play it just so they have the viewer. I buy merch. I do everything for that because I support everything that they do. I love that whole program they got going. Dude, it's a it's a good uh it's a good setup, and I mean they make lots of money every year, which is great. Yeah, it's it's a fantastic charity event, and if you don't know what it is, look it up. Uh, AGDQ is the big one, right? Like SGDQ is like the kind of just secondary, or are they both equally as huge as? They're both pretty big, but I would say AGDQ is the biggest one. That's what I thought. I uh, I used to be pretty into it, um, like back when I had more time to just sit around and watch speedruns, because I love speedrunning, and I've wanted to get into speedrunning for a long time. Um, I'm just not good enough. Uh, I'm sure I could. If I ever, ch if I ever had, I want to talk about, I I'm going to put a pin in this real quick. Rem remind me, I want to talk about your favorite game, that if you ever did speedrun a game, but, um, I, I've always used to, like, I used to watch it a lot, and I would watch, like, you, you watch every single speedrun, as you just say, like, you just keep it on whatever, just for whatever, but, like, I would wait till, like, um, they would always do, what's the one they always do at the end with, like, the animals? Is that Metroid? That's Metroid. Save the animals or kill the animals. Yes, I would always watch that one, because it's always, so, it's just crazy to see how, like, everything changes every year. I would always pick my favorite ones and watch them, but if you had a game that you wanted to speedrun, like, a game that you would have to sit, like, you have to, d d d d Sorry, I just had a stroke. If you had to dedicate hours of your life to just sit down and play, what would it be? Um, Oblivion. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Elder Scrolls Oblivion or Dark Souls. One I, of the two. I bet the speed run for Oblivion is like, pick up a paintbrush and like glitch through the, the world and you're done. <laughs> I mean, the game itself is pretty quick if you just do the main story. Yeah, I guess but that's I've been true. I've myself really wanting to play Elder Scrolls Online lately. Oh, no, but... that's that's bad news for you, dude. <laughs> well, I spent so much money on the PlayStation 4 version, and the really cruddy thing about that is, is you can't transfer accounts between uh, consoles or from PS4 to PC. It's, that's, it's, that's pretty scuffed. <laughs> it's stupid, right? Now, my question is, is what's going to happen when we get the PS5 and no one's going to play your game anymore. <laughs> like, are you going to let us transfer because the new console came out? Like, I bet they my... will. You, I mean, you think they'll keep ESO going for that long? Oh, dude, ESO is massive. Really? Like, I... It's gotten nothing but bigger. I know they, they drop, like, an, uh, uh, a new expansion, like, every other month, it seems like. Oh, dude, like, every, like, two every year or something like that. They just, uh, I, I don't know if they just released it or if they're going to release it, but it's like a I can't remember what it's called, like Greymore or something like that. Yeah, it's taking place in like Skyrim with all the vampires and stuff. It looks pretty cool. I uh, it looks sick. I played ESO. I bought it when it first came out for console because it came out for PC first, didn't it? And then uh, then console. Yeah, it came like, out for PC first, and then like a week later, no, a it was long it was time. like yeah, it was like months, I think. Yeah, months later, it came out for console. And I, I picked it up, and I played it for, like, a week. Oh, 60 defense. I played it for, like, a week, and um, it was fun, but, like, I couldn't just, like, I couldn't dedicate all the time I needed to it, and so I had to, unfortunately, just drop it. But you, on the other hand, you, uh, you got into it. Oh, that game, it was bad. I think I had one of every character 
out. It, it, I wonder what happened between that game and Fallout 76. Like, what could have possibly went so wrong? Well, one was developed by Zenimax, the other was developed by Bethesda. Oh, I didn't know they were developed by different uh, things. Yeah, Zenimax did uh, Elder Scrolls Online. And keep in mind, Fallout 76 wasn't marketed. That's as true, a too. Game with, uh, it was marketed as a Fallout game with MMO multiplayer, like multiplayer components. So it was basically, they did their best to make a Fallout game where you were completely overpowered. Right. But still to where you could play with your friends and still it be challenging. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of turned turned over on itself. If they would have made it like Elder a MMO, and people would have been just as mad about that as they were when ESO came out. Because people wanted another Skyrim. Instead, they got an MMO that was difficult, and you couldn't just run in and try and kill everything because you weren't that strong yet. Yeah, you had to, you had to grind, just like every other MMO. <laughs> exactly. So... I don't know. Did you actually play Fallout 76 like extensively or did you just drop it eventually like everyone else oh, did? Oh no. I'm I'm max level on that game. Oh, so you went hard. I did. Oh dude, I went hard. Remember I we talked to you about that for a while. It, yeah, cuz you were actually like one of the diehard supporters of it. I was hoping that it would get better. Then Bethesda made poor choices and then eventually be like, "You know what? I know when to I know when to give up." <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I I bought Fallout seventy six like super discounted on Amazon, and I uh, I played it. I booted it up. I played it for like a day, and I was like, <sighs> "Cool." The thing I didn't like was, and they might have patched this. I don't know, but like there was no like NPCs or people to talk to. You just like went to a computer and like picked up a quest, and then you'd move on. You'd shoot some rats. You'd move on to the next area, loot, and then you'd get killed by some guy with like a rocket launcher. I mean, yeah, that never happened to me. I mean, it was, it was, I actually got my game. I got my game. I can't complain and say, oh, I paid full price for this and didn't get my time out of it. No, no, yeah. I, I played a lot and I genuinely had fun. I Dude, had a good and, time. and that's great. I mean, you know, good for you. I'm glad you, uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm not saying, you know, it, whatever. I mean, I just, I just didn't, uh, it wasn't for me. I, I, I would much rather play ESO than I would play it though. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Like, one of these days, I will hop back on ESO. I just, I'm kind of holding out for the hope that maybe they'll let me transfer my account one day. And until then, I'm just kind of not playing it. Why don't you just play it on PS4? Uh, I would. I just, I don't know. I kind of want to stream it because I got, I was pretty good at it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it have a big, and uh, like, audience on Twitch? It, it does. I mean, one of the streamers gets like 5,000 viewers, something like that. Dude, I you should... Uh, can you not stream off your PS4? Like, can you not just... Uh... If I did, I'd have to get a capture card. I don't have one. So. Mm. I didn't know if... Because like on, on the Xbox One, you can just stream directly from Twitch. I didn't know if you could do that on the PS4 or not. You can, but I can't have all my cool little effects on it. Oh, that's true. That's true. So, it adds another element there. Um, we kind of got derailed off it, but I'm going to go back really quick. We were talking about, because we got onto Oblivion. Uh, if I had to just sit down and pick a game to speedrun, we were talking about speedrunning earlier. If I just had to pick one, a game, like, like I, I think about this a lot. Like, if I was on a, des a deserted island and I had one video game to play over and over and over again just to get good, or, or if I, if I speedran, would that be the correct speedrun? If I speedran, if I speedrunned a game, I think it'd have to be Super Mario Sunshine. I feel like I could play that game a million times over and learn all of the secrets without ever getting bored, you know? That's a really, really long speed run. Is it really? Like, for all stars or just, like... I think for all... all or just, like, all a sons? casual completion, completion run? I don't know. I don't know the categories. I'm not that well-versed in the speedrunning community, but... I would... I've always wanted to at least attempt a speedrun, even if it wasn't, like, you know... Like, if it was just me literally playing the game as fast as I could, not actually, like, doing the strats or, you know, or whatever, just, like, playing the game efficiently. Yeah, yeah. I've always wanted to, to at least try that at some point, but maybe someday, who knows? Maybe I, uh, maybe I could, uh, get into it. I don't know. I don't know, bro. 
You know, speaking of uh, speaking of fun little uh, fun little games, you know something I like to do a lot, and this might seem weird to you, I don't know, but like whenever I'm training on like RuneScape or something, so take a look at your uh, your stat page real quick. Go to your skills. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if you like, if let's just 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 let's role play here a little bit. Don't get kinky or anything, but if you could, if you had one chance to right now flip all of your skills, so like if you had sixty attack, you would have six. If you could flip all of your skills right now, would you benefit from that or would you lose progress? Like, you can't just flip one. You have to flip them all. So, like, you just get a, an instant flip right now. Would you benefit or would you would you not, like? I mean, a good chunk of my stuff wouldn't really matter. I would, I would actually lose progress in a lot. Yeah, I would lose a lot, too, because whenever I'm training a skill, I always try to even it out. So, it's either at, like, zero, like 50 or 60... Or 80, so everything would flip back to single digits. So I would lose. A, I would lose on a lot of that. But I like to play that a lot, just because I'm when I get bored and I'm got nothing else to do. You're sitting there thinking to yourself, huh? Man, if I could just flip everything right now, some of them would be nice. Like I'd have like, uh, I'd have 90. Well, no, no, everything's pretty much lower on the because I never end anything on a high. I'd have 74 rune crafting. That'd be pretty nice. <laughs> that would be nice. See, I have 86 mining and 52 rune crafting and 64 farming that's about the only benefits i would get yeah that's a lot and a lot of yours are like some you have nine, a couple 99s so they would just stay the same yeah that like they wouldn't hurt anything i'd just be like oh that was cool oh, well, that's, <laughs> that's something but i don't know that's just something i like to like to silly silly do uh, i think that was pretty much all of the were coming to the close of our ep a little grindage here but i think that was most of the the big topics i had to do or that we had to how's uh how's just life going on in general my friend uh not too bad hanging in there just kind of working quite a bit haven't streamed lately because i'm lazy yeah and you just had some like some work done on your your precious little face so your mouth is hurting yeah i'm getting dental pretty much dental surgery done on the 27th and Leading up to that, I got to go into the dentist quite a bit and get everything all taken care of before then. And so for a while, I'm not going to oh, be probably grab, streaming. I didn't grab food. You're getting a facial reconstruction. You're getting a, a you're going to the the makeover wizard in Falador. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> you're and, getting a, uh, <laughs> so you're getting plastic surgery. No, no, no. Um, basically, basically. How is it, dude? I mean, spring break's coming up soon. I know that doesn't affect you because you have a real job, but. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah dude it's i'm excited for spring break that's a week of freaking gaming most people spring break going to the beach partying drinking no 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 gains baby <laughs> games gym and games that's right my man you get you get me dude <laughs> partying having contact with people no 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 <laughs> nah, fuck miss that. me that's with stupid. that <laughs> Give me some cold steel and a freaking creatine boost. That's all I need. Hot. But yeah, other than that, I haven't really done much else. Just uh, kind of just sticking to World of Warcraft for a bit. And Have you been? Uh, do you play any uh, Tarky on your off time? I haven't played. I played like one game of Tarkov today. Um, I've kind of ran low on the first-person shooter like want lately i just i just don't want to play it like just any uh, first person shooter in general yeah like they just i mean they're fun they're all the same but like basically <laughs> yeah was that, is that is that a hot take all first person shooters are the same i mean i won't say they're all the same but i will say that they get kind of repetitive did you uh did you play the new call of duty at all uh modern I did. warfare I, I actually kind of enjoyed it i uh tried playing again today and i did pretty well but like i just i think again we, I, one of those things where meh i think we've talked about this on the show before but you were like a call of duty pro for a while weren't you i did play semi-professionally yes I, I thought so like you were i remember you were a uh, because uh, that's how you got like you got like in the tournaments and stuff didn't you and you i don't know if you won any money or not but i did yeah, I, th I thought that it could, it was a uh, wasn't it was, was it Modern Warfare two or was it like Black Ops that was your main game? Modern Warfare two. Oh, that's what I thought. That's the best one, dude. That is the best one. The only one that really mattered. Yeah, absolutely. When did, when are they gonna remake that one? 
Bro, for real. Like, tell me. Tell me. Give it to me, I'll enter. That, that's the one I've played the most. Uh, well, actually, it's like the only one I ever played. I, I bought it. I don't know why. I was in middle school, I think. Maybe high school. And uh, all my friends bought it. So I was like, all right, dude, cool. I'll, I'll buy it. And it was fun. And then I, uh, I bought Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2. And I played that one a little bit. But other than that, I have not touched a Call of Duty since. Really? Yeah. Because, I mean, it's, it's just like, I game. don't... Well, and then there was, like, one Call of Duty where they didn't even have a story mode. And I was like, well, I'm definitely not getting that one. And that was Black Ops 4? Oh, it was Black Ops 4, and I actually did get that one. <laughs> I'm a liar. <laughs> You're a liar. How I think it's because it actually looked good, and it actually was pretty fun. Black Ops 4 was pretty fun. I actually enjoyed that game pretty well. I just get so... Like, I don't know if it's because I'm getting old or what, but I just get so angry with some of those games now. Oh, absolutely. That's that's why I can't play them because I'm. It, it's just frustrating to to die over and over again and and have you know a bunch of children yell at you online. It's just not fun to me. Yeah, I don't enjoy hearing how many times some five year old fucked my mother or something. I, I get yelled enough at children every day. I don't at my at my job. I don't need I don't need that online in my when I'm gaming. That's my uh, that's my rest time, baby. I, that's, that's that's daddy's time. Rest time. That's daddy's time. <laughs> I don't need a. I don't need none of this pre preteen hormone rage directed at me. <laughs> That's the nice thing about RuneScape is there's well no RuneScape's community is actually pretty toxic. <laughs> it, it it can get pretty bad. Like, but how about you, my dude? What do you got planned for the channel? Dude, I got uh I got ideas. I'm I've talked about this a few times. I really want to get. I want to start this RuneScape three shenanigans. Just kind of meme in my way through the game just to see if i can figure anything out i want to start doing dude that's right i want to start the i really i need to get back on this rap man i need to get this thing going because i really want to do that um i think that'll be a lot of fun i just got to get back into the groove i'm getting back into the groove of things i need to uh once i get like a steady backlog going which i'm getting more and more each day because thanks to dark souls uh it's super easy to play and i can get lots of episodes done and uh so I'm building up. Once I get like a steady thing going, I, and I'll have some more time. I want to get back on that. Um, I really want to get back into some more live action stuff because those things are a lot of fun to do, skits and whatnot. But those also take a lot of time. Um, I've just been playing too much RuneScape because uh, it's, I've been having a lot of fun with it again lately. And thankfully, uh, it's also my most viewed series, so it's easy to do because people are actually watching it. So lots of RuneScape stuff. Although I want to get into more things other than just progress episodes. Like I've been thinking about doing. Like, talking about the updates and stuff, although we kind of cover a lot of that on our podcast. Um, but I was thinking, like, I want to talk about the death mechanic thing, but that's kind of too late now, I think. But uh, maybe when uh, something else, like, if they, uh, they've they been talking about group Iron Man for a long time, uh, maybe make a video over that. I don't know. Just all kinds of stuff. Um, I got lots of ideas. I just need to actually uh, execute them, you know. Yeah. Pretty much. I got to film. I the feeling. I got to film those freaking push-ups for my deaths from dark souls too bro yeah you're slacking every time i watch it i'm watching it for the for the gains you think i'm watching it for the gaming no i want the gains well i, I need to figure out what exactly i want to do i think i i was gonna do it per uh like area like per, like push -ups. Per... that's what you want to do oh 51 slayer and i got a ran rc um i was going to do it like after every area but then i was like man that's a lot of uh a lot of different i'd much rather do it in like big chunks like i don't know if, like maybe once i get to like the lore like halfway through the game maybe i'll do it then i don't know i, I need i just need to figure out my game plan but it's it's yeah, coming I need to just dying more that's what i'm gonna need i've died a ton dude i've died like i think i have one episode i think i have an episode going up tomorrow i think my total death counts like at 10 which is pretty bad for only killing i've killed uh let's see i've killed the taurus demon the bell gargoyles moonlight butterfly all easy so far. Um, Ca I just killed Capra Demon. I think I'm going through Blight Town now, and I've died like ten or eleven times, which is terrible. But uh, especially since at the beginning I was like, I'm never gonna die ever, and then uh, I was so rudely, rudely awakened. Bro, you should have seen my Sekiro run. Like ten dying ten times. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, but that's also your first time playing that game. This is like my tenth time playing Dark Souls. That's fair. Yeah, Dark Souls 3 I'm pretty good at. Although I say that. Dude, Mac. dude, I do not remember 
anything about Dark Souls 3. I, I played it twice. I played it through one time and then on New Game Plus. And I remember the... Uh, there's one fight that's really cool. It's like halfway through the game. It's like maybe a dragon hunter guy. You find him in like a big castle. In uh, it's, oh, He's like a priest guy. I can't remember his name. But um, it had some cool fights. Um, but Dark Souls 2. I almost like Dark Souls 2 equally as Dark Souls 1. Just because really? I feel like every time I go through, it's like a new experience almost. I don't know why. You need you need to play Bloodborne, dude. You would love Bloodborne. I do need to play it. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, Bloodborne is delicious. Like if it was a if it was a, a tasty late night snack, it would be like I don't know. I haven't had junk food in so long. Uh, a, a Twinkie? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that bit. I was trying to think of some snacks but it's like i don't know anymore because no one's gonna want to eat what i eat but um yeah man you would like that in uh i i need to play sekiro so what we need to do is i need to come over there i'll play sekiro you play bloodborne and we'll see who kills themselves first uh you'll win that one <laughs> on sekiro oh yeah you'll win Dude, I, I, I'm excited to play it. This summer, man, it's going down. It's going downtown. You're going to hate yourself. I hate myself every day. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you. Well, with that, uh, with that, on that note of self, uh, self-deprivation, we're going to sign off, boys and girls. Thanks for joining us and hanging out with us and just grinding one out with us. Uh, my boy, Necro, go ahead and plug that Twitch channel, my friend. Uh, yeah, it is twitch.tv slash necrocircus, necrocircus with a zero. Necro Circus with a zero. I know we, uh, you just said you're kind of been, uh, on the low of streaming just because you've been going through some, some, uh, some stuff, but you'll be, you, you normally stream on the weekends, right? Like every Saturday? Yep. Fridays, uh, Fridays and Saturdays, and I eight till about usually one in the morning anymore. You just go hard. I do. I try. You, uh, you should, remember we were talking about you playing Dragon Age? You should do that, because I would love to watch that. A lot of people would, but that, uh, Dragon Age has not aged well. You think? I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like you, uh, you have a story to tell with that. Uh, yeah, yeah, kind of, but maybe we'll save that. For we'll save that for the next grind. Uh, dude, uh, speaking of that really quickly, I want to go, uh, um... Dragon Age, they talked about the fourth Dragon Age coming out soon. If that came out on, um, if it comes out this year, which I doubt it will, that would be a game I'd play on the channel, man. That would be so much fun. That would be fun. That'd be fantastic. Uh, anyway, boys and girls, thanks for hanging out with us and just grinding it out with us. Leave us a comment or something. Let us know what you want to see or talk about. Give us some topics. I don't know if you want to talk about other games besides RuneScape. Uh, we, we throw in some WoW. What have you been doing in World of Warcraft? Just raiding? What do you do in that game? Just, bro, I've just been raiding and getting gear. Just kind of chilling, wait, kind of waiting for the next expansion. I'm just catching up with other tunes and stuff like that. Which, which you have... Kinda. Is there a release date for it yet? Uh, to my knowledge, no. I know there's a book that's released that's releasing in like July. <laughs> like a comic like, book? It, well, it's like a prequel to the uh, actual expansion. Oh, that's so, cool. So it'll probably release around that time. Dude, that'll be sick. I'd watch. Uh, have you talked about streaming that, or do you think that's gonna just be more for your personal time? Um, I don't like to stream. Well, I'll probably stream it at the beginning, just because it's kind of you know. In it's gonna be fresh. Content. Yeah, but then later on, it it kind of dies off pretty quick because like. All it is is running around doing quests. I mean, I know that kind of happened with, that. yeah, that kind of happened with um, when WoW Classic released. People people were super into it for a while there, and then they're like, oh, you know what? This is kind of a, uh, it's kind of repetitive yeah. at this point. But a uh, lot of people, uh, a lot of people are fickle that way. <laughs> dude, that's just with everything. I think. <laughs> Truth. All right, boys and girls. Well, I've uh, I went off on enough tangents. Let's end this freaking episode. Thanks for watching, guys and girls. We will see you in the next episode. Every Thursday, these are guys are coming out. We're, me and my boy Necro, we're slamming, not each other, but we're slamming, uh, see you guys, uh, stay freaking beautiful, and, uh, I love you guys so much, thanks for watching, and, um, next episode, we'll talk about, who freaking knows, dude, uh, bye! Uh, bye bye